Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Have you ever gone to the tire store and noticed colored dots on the sidewall? What's that all about? Well, there's some things you need to know. Stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com. I noticed not too long ago when I was buying new tires for my car that some of the tires on the tire rack had colored dots. Some were yellow, some were red, and even in a few cases, there were some blue dots. And this raised my curiosity of what those dots designate and what they mean to us. Well, simply put, the yellow dot is the lightest point on the tire. As uniform as they try to make tires and tire manufacturing expertise has come a long way in the last decade or so, you'll still have some difference in weight from side to side or area to area in the tire. Well, it makes sense because the valve stem, and they're now using what's called TPMS units since 2007, there is some weight to this, about the weight of about six U.S. quarters. Uh, and so it makes sense to mount this right next to the lightest part on the tire. That would be the yellow dot. Well, what about the red dot? The red dot is the stiffest or tallest point of the tire. And why that is important is rims or wheels themselves are not perfectly round and there'll be a certain area on it that has the lowest or flattest spot. And many of the wheels have a dimple placed on it. Uh, I don't have any on this one here, but they'll have a dimple that indicates that flat spot or that lowest spot. The red dot is put across that. That's another starting point for the tire technician. Blue dots are internal quality assurance checks that are used at the factory uh, to pass certain internal quality standards. And they really don't affect you nor the tire shop that's mounting them. And to make things even a little bit weirder, a lot of tires don't even have dots. These don't, and nor do the ones on my car. And any ones that have truck, uh, light truck tires, many times don't have them. And I've seen lots of tires that don't. Why? Well, because the uniformity of the tire is such that the manufacturers no longer feel the need on particular lines of tires to put the dots there. The technician can simply counterweight it where it's needed uh, to smooth it out and get you on the road a lot quicker with a really smooth ride. Now, another thing to keep in mind is tread direction. As you can see in th this example, this tire, notice the arrow-like pattern. Those arrows need to go forward facing, that is forward direction rolling down the road, whether they're on the left side or right side of the vehicle. So whatever side the dots are on, on one side of the tire, those dots may be in the inside of the tire. On the other side, it'll be on the outside. Tread direction always trumps everything else. It needs to be correct, and then the technicians figure out where to place that valve stem and uh, that TPMS unit uh, at the lightest spot on the tire. Now you know a lot more about how tires are marked, what those are about, and why it's important to you. One last thing to keep in mind is that you need to keep your tires properly inflated, and good tools help you to do that. Check out this video where we reviewed DeWalt's portable inflator. We use it around here all the time. It's become a very handy tool to assure that we're keeping things at the proper inflation. And while you're at it, check out this video clip also produced by the man behind the camera. If you were a child of the 80s or 90s and you grew up gaming, but it's hard to do that now, but you love it as much as you ever did, check out this channel where Rob walks through how to live life and still enjoy some of those earlier things you did when you were a younger person. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.